welcome back to Jesse at home in today's video it seems like you're looking at a clean kitchen but I can guarantee you you are not it is like a Monet it looks pretty good from far away but up close it is a hot hot mess look at this microwave it's absolutely disgusting I have splatter all over my countertops of course we got a half a sink full of dishes I have a sticky fingerprints on my stainless my oven is a hot mess and my cabinet seen a good clean as well as a glob of margarine on my cooktop um, so first I'm just gonna kind of gather things off of my countertop and um, I needed to do a couple of quick little things like repair my little sign that was falling apart and hang that up and I have a uh, cookies that I wanted to put in a little plastic baggie just like a little nitpicky things that I wanted to get done before I got into my um, like deep deep cleaning my sweet daughter-in-law I guess I can call her my daughter-in-law they're not like officially married or anything but my son's a long-term um, girlfriend she's a twin her twin always makes cookies they love to bake so they always send over goodies for us to eat here in the house so i just wanted to put them in better um, storage so we could enjoy these cookies they always send over like really good smoked meats and stuff from their dad and um their stepdad likes to cook their dad likes to cook so they're always sending over like really good leftovers so we get to enjoy that and like sweets and treats so I was just putting that stuff away and I had to get like regular tidy kind of stuff done and then I'm going to get into the deep cleaning because if you missed it we did a really good makeover budget makeover in our laundry room and so the rest of the house kind of went to crap and so in this video I'm going to just kind of clean up the um kitchen because this was the staging area to where we did a lot of like the paints went and we were in and out of this room a lot and the paint brushes were cleaned out in here and just like a lot of stuff went on in this kitchen while we were uh messing in the laundry room so i just want to make everything nice and neat in here again So if you are new to my channel, coming over from the laundry room makeover, hi, my name is Jessie. I'm a stay-at-home mom of three children. I'm only a stay-at-home mom to one toddler, my older two children. I have a almost 20-year-old, I have a 17-year-old, and a toddler. Um, my husband travels for work, uh, well, travels with his work, and uh, we do love to DIY. We don't do as much DIY as we used to. It's mostly cleaning and some recipes and uh, just a lot of cleaning on this channel. So I'm sorry to disappoint if you're hoping for like a ton of home, like renos and makeovers and stuff like that, but I have a ton of makeovers on this channel. So I have a playlist you can go through and look and see all that we have done in this house. We bought this house in 2020. Um, I can't believe it's been four years. It's crazy. Uh, this is our dream home. We're not like we don't buy a new house every year. Um, we do a lot of things on budget. We do have a pool. We have a like outdoor kitchen that we're hopefully going to play with this year and renovate out um, renovate outside. I do love doing a lot of outdoor projects. Um, we have a beautiful big out backyard that I like to kind of do things with every year. Um, let's see, we have, um, a lot to do in this house. This is definitely a fixer upper. Uh, we have a lot of years to do a lot of fun things, um, in this house, but we're no hurry to like, like quickly flip it and move on to the next thing. So we're just doing things like kind of slowly and, um, within a reasonable budget for us. So yeah, we like to have a lot of fun and, try new things and uh yeah so definitely check out that playlist i'm gonna try and update it and make sure that we have everything <laughs> in a reasonably chronological playlist so uh my 
new subscribers and my existing subscribers can navigate it, <laughs> navigate it easily. I also really want to apologize to everyone. Um, my subscribers do know this, that I suffer from migraines. Um, I was just recently seen by a neurologist. I was put on a new migraine medication. It is a daily migraine medication and it has made me feel a little bit loopy and it has definitely caused some like brain fog and um, like some word stumbling and uh, which I already I felt like I already kind of had that has made me kind of uh, lose a little bit of um, my words which I kind of already felt like I had that anyway um, so I may seem kind of like dumb maybe but I kind of felt like I was like that anyway so I don't know if you guys have might kind of seen a change but uh, I apologize but hopefully this will help me with my migraines I do have an MRI ske scheduled for next month so hopefully we'll see some results for that that would be really exciting um another thing is this migraine medication um i think someone suggested it in the comments a couple months ago um topo max i think is what it's called um i have to take two pills in the morning two pills in the evening i think they said they get it in an injection but this is the one that my insurance um covers and uh they said that it uh makes pepsi or like carbonated sodas taste weird and it's true it makes sodas taste weird so i don't drink sodas at all anymore it's so disgusting but it also makes you lose weight so we'll see how that goes if i'll lose this baby weight finally <laughs> i don't know um but yeah so that's my migraine update but it also has made me feel like a little weird and funny so that's the reason why I've kind of gone down to one video a week these past few weeks. It's just because my body's kind of adjusting to this new medication. So I apologize for that. I swear lemon juice in the microwave for five minutes just like letting it steam in there number one the lemon just makes everything smell good but just steaming water in the microwave is the best hack in the whole wide world for just like cleaning it yes we well I know I do I try to get everyone else to use the hover covers in the microwave um, to prevent having everything explode all over the microwave um, but just like letting it steam in there I wish I hadn't learned this hack a long, long time ago. Um, I mean, I've known about it for like the past 10 years or so, but like when I was first learning how to clean a microwave, like in my first house 20 years ago, I wish I had learned because I spent so such a long time scrubbing, 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 and I used to hate cleaning the microwave and now it's just so easy. Um, but yeah it's like just such an easy hack an easy thing to do lemon juice some water let it steam the microwave and just wipe it on out no stinky chemicals in there um just an easy simple thing I had wanted to decorate for spring Easter, but we got caught up with, 
you know, renovating our laundry room. And then I've been so like out of it with this medication. I know I, I'm why, 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 like complaining. <laughs> um, I just, we just got call, caught up with other things. I've been really working really hard to try to stay up on like decorating for the different seasons. And sometimes we just don't make it in time and that's okay. Um, we are still going to go do like Easter things, um, with the community and, and all that stuff, spending time with family and doing, doing all the things that, that we want to do. So just because I didn't get to decorate my hutch in time and all that doesn't really matter. We're still going to go celebrate on the day and, and do all the things that we're meant to do. Um, I still can't get over that big glob of margarine <laughs> on my stove. Um, we were out of butter and spray so i only keep margarine for spreading on toast i just like margarine on my toast because it spreads easier but we were out of i just like put a glob of it that's a large glob too but i put a glob of it to like cook some eggs and i totally missed the pan and then did you see it didn't even melt or like spread or nothing on like that's so crazy to me i know it's like hydro Hydrogenized oil or something that's just crazy to me that it just like sat there for an entire day and didn't melt or anything it just sat there in that glob and did nothing like that's crazy and we put that in our bodies that's just crazy but um my poor cabinets are awful um they need to be re repainted um this is actually the day before uh, I did a self clean on my oven. This is just a sneak peek of what it looked like before. And I did the self clean really quick and let it do that for five hours. And then you need to let it cool. This is obviously this, the day that I was cleaning. I just kind of put all that dust on the bottom of the, um, oven and then I just used a wet rag to scoop all of that dust up it's just so easy as long as you're just like paying attention I would not recommend doing a self-clean and then leaving your house and letting it do whatever as long as you're monitoring the self-clean don't do a self-clean and go to sleep don't do a self-clean and leave your house because obviously accidents can happen but I've never had a problem with with like doing a self-clean I've I've done a self-clean with leaving like oil drippings in the bottom of my oven and it's never caught fire before but I know that freak ac accidents can happen but like I've always been there and I've always monitored and it's always worked perfectly fine and I happen to leave my racks in because that's what the manual says to do my racks are coated and are meant to be left in I know some ovens you're supposed to take the racks out read your manual do what your oven says. I've never had a problem with self-clean oven. Um, and here is what the after. Mine is kind of scarred because I beat my oven to death. And, <laughs> um, you know, but I'm just going to go around and wipe it down with a rag. I know I wiped the top with that, um, that like wall cleaning stick but sometimes doing the bottom is just a little bit better because to be honest the bottoms get beat up a little bit worse than the tops and they need like they need a hand cleaning on the bottom with a like damp rag with a little bit of dawn squirted in it for the first time in ages i wake up and don't hate it I guess I found some peace Through the day to the evening Without shouting and screaming Something new to me Alone without being lonely Getting back to the old me It's kinda nice to feel free I thought this was so
And this is pretty much all I got for you for this day. My parents were coming over for dinner. So I'm going to mop really quickly and um, show you the dirty mop water. And then I am going to pick up the next evening. I'm going to be doing a night clean um, the next day because the next day I had music class and then gymnastics with Malcolm. Um, and I'm doing this solo parenting week. Uh, my husband is out of town this week. And like I said, I had that medication. So I'm like dealing with trying to figure everything out with the medication and solo parenting and filming and all that jazz. So um, I'm just trying to find time to film when I can. So the best time to film happened to be the next evening. So I'm just doing the best I can. Oh, I included this because a lot of people asked if there was room to open up the dryer door all the way. And there is plenty of room to open up the dryer door. I'm starting in the playroom after a half a day because we were out half the day. A half a day of play in Malcolm's room. And usually I would like work my way from the edge. But since I wanted to wipe all the shelves down... I figured it was smarter to take all the toys off of the shelves first and wipe all the shelves down before putting the toys back on the shelves. Sometimes I have smart ideas, guys. Sometimes I'm like, oh, that's so smart. Take the toys down first, wipe, and then put the toys up there versus, you know. Sometimes I'm like, why did I bring all the toys over here and put them on, put it back on the shelves when I wanted to wipe things down? I don't know. I had a brilliant idea this time. Never met someone like you, uh, felt something like your touch I wish we would've met tonight Sure I've had lovers in my past, won't lie I've had a blast But none of them had your humor We can't compare, no one could ever do Nobody's close to you, yeah One night's not fair, what can I say?
Malcolm is in bed at this point. Um, so he will be waking up to a nice, clean, fresh playroom, which is my favorite. I like to reset. I am listening to an audiobook. I'm actually listening to Iron Flame, one of my YouTube subscribers, Instagram followers sent me a message. I on Instagram I am sharing all of which I need to share on Instagram actually. In my Instagram stories, I am sharing all the books that I am reading slash listening to in 2024 because I thought it'd be fun to kind of um just document the books that I'm reading slash listening to. Um and so since I was reading the um Sarah J. Mass, like, see, bring fog. Um, oh my gosh, Akatar series, the um, Court of Thorn and Roses series over there. She suggested I read Fourth Wing series, um, which is like a dragon rider series. <laughs> I know that sounds silly. Um, but it's really good, and I'm reading the second book, Iron Flame. Actually, I'm having it read to me because I can multitask. So I am having that read to me while I am cleaning up the playroom at night, and it's really soothing. It's action-packed, um, so I'm having that read to me while I am getting his playroom organized and cleaned up. Um, and I get so many more books done this way. And to be honest, I feel like my eyes are like really failing me as I'm getting older. Um, as far, as far as like reading goes, I have to like really like I am primarily e-reader and have been probably for the past 10 years. I have to really turn my e-reader up like really large letters. <laughs> I I used to like make fun of my husband for that. And now I have to like turn mine up so like so big now. It's not even funny. Um so I like get through books so fast because I can listen so fast because of like I've always been a fast reader and now that I can like zoom past them on like two speed two and a half speed three speed like like it's so fast I can listen to it and comprehend it and like understand it so fast I can like zoom through books and um and get my house clean so it's amazing and I really enjoy it So the living room isn't too crazy either because we weren't home half the day. We were in music class and um, gymnastics, but he is obsessed with vegetables. Like you pull them apart and they have shapes in there. So he has his shopping cart, his little elf guy, two shopping baskets, his reusable bag. Like he's so funny. Um, he's, he's just like so hilarious he knows his shapes like he knows what a rhombus is he knows what a hexagon is like he's so smart like he knows all his shapes all his colors he's been in speech therapy since february right um he's so stubborn though his speech therapist is like he's definitely stubborn i'm like yeah he's a redhead <laughs> and a july baby so like can't like his horoscope sign is cancer so he's definitely stubborn um and emotional um and he um knows all his numbers up to 100 but definitely up to 30 he can skip count to 100 he knows all his shapes all his numbers um his entire alphabet like he just knows it like he can 
pick out letters like randomly and like knows them. He can spell his name, can recognize his name. He can't read yet, so don't like get too excited. Um, he, let's see what else. He knows his numbers like randomly. Like he can put a one and a seven together and be like, oh, 17, that's 17. And like, like he knows his stuff. He's so funny and he's like, He's so stubborn though. It's so stubborn. Like she'll want him to be like, say a phrase that we're working on and he will not say it during a session. And, um, he'll come home and then on the sly, he'll like use it on me. Like he's teaching me. And so I'll pretend I'll just, I'll be the student. And then he'll be like, he'll be like, yes or no like whatever we're trying to do and then I'll be like oh um yes blah 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 blah, blah or something <laughs> he's so funny he'll use the technique on me and so I'll pretend I'm the child and then I'll report back to her and she's like that's okay like we'll we'll work on that absolutely it's so funny I'll have to make a vlog so you guys can see his progress because he is just he's a little stinker I absolutely love him he's amazing but Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. If you're new to my channel, I'm so sorry for all the randomness, but this is pretty much how my cleaning channel goes. I just pretty much come on here like it's my very own podcast or like vlog or like um, dear, my dear diary and I just kind of give you my life updates and I clean. I pretty much don't teach you how to clean. I just come on here and pour my little heart out. This is how I do my vlog channel. <laughs> I mean, this is how I do my cleaning channel. I do have a vlog channel as well. And it's just pretty much just me. It's not a family vlog channel. It's just me and sometimes my child and that's it. See you guys next time.